Hi, today I decided to do some empanadas, easy way, so follow me. First ingredient, two and quarter cup of white flour, then one and a half teaspoon of sea salt. So add now one stick of butter. So mix until you, have, you obtain a coarse meal like this. Mix a quarter cup of ice water, one egg and one tablespoon of white vinegar. Then meet, beat the mixture and then we're gonna start to incorporate everything together. So stir until it incorporated and the mixture will look a little bit shaggy. So then turn the mixture on a lightly uh, floured surface and begin to knead slowly by hand of course so knead with your hand until the all the mixture come all together then you flatten the the, uh, the mixture with what you have a bottle of wine or water okay now you obtain a flat and uh, we're gonna roll it into a plastic wrap and keep in the fridge for one hour Okay, so now we're gonna make the filling of the empanadas. So, depending on what you have in the fridge, you can put anything you want. All the leftover, but uh, basically meat and vegetable. So, as usual, I'm, I'm using a, a carbon steel pan. So, here are some basic ingredients that we're gonna look at. Gonna have ground beef, onion, garlic, tomato, some cumin seed and oregano and olive oil and a little bit of jalapeno to spice it up and we're gonna chop some celery here to add some flavor then you can add uh, some adam which is left over in the fridge which is some veggies, ham, chorizo and or cheese let's put some olive oil it is brown. We're gonna add the meat. So make sure to break the, uh, the meat in small pieces. And let it brown a little bit. So now it's time to put the vegetable in the pan. Add all the spices. Cumin. Then oregano. Can add the leftover vegetable, Brussels sprouts, shallots, and a little bit of asparagus. Adding two slices of ham, chopped, and a dash of white wine, just to refresh it. That is so we're gonna add up a little bit of chorizo to, to give some mm. taste and spices. Chorizo in the middle, and we're gonna. Mix everything. So with with a small board, just cut out the empanadas one by one, and we're gonna fill them. So we're gonna put two spoon of filling in the uh, in the middle to roll the empanadas nicely you how to do it and the techniques is to close it also different technique to close the empanadas which is either with a fork like this so here one is done we're going to put on the on the wax paper and we're going to put egg on the top to give the brown color now it's time to bake let's put it in the oven nicely 400 degrees good 
Now we have to make sure that uh, the uh, bananas are well tanned. Otherwise, add two or three more minutes to the cooking. Okay. So I think that they have a nice color here, and we can take them out. How to eat a panada that I just made? That delicious. I can see it without tasting it. That's delicious. <laughs> so we cut in two. A little bit of lime juice and pour it. In between. Then <clears throat> jalapeno to spice it up. A little bit. Two pieces. A little bit of uh, cheese, grated cheese, maybe Mexican or anything. Um, a bit of yogurt to soften a little bit the uh, chili and cilantro. I miss something? No. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Bon appetit.